Okay, once again, good afternoon, class. Good afternoon po. Yes, yes, yes. Good afternoon. So we are now on day number two of our week number nine, the last week of Mathematics 7 for the second quarter. So to begin with our lesson, let us review first the lesson that we have last meeting, wherein we have the solving of equations using the graphical method. At the same time, we were not able to check our quiz. And so today we will be doing to we will be doing check that one. So in other words, I'll be giving you five minutes to finalize and answer the quizzes or the true or false quiz with solution last that we have last meeting. Okay, if you want the link, the link is on your PC and the, on your messenger or you may click the link that I'm sending right now in the chat box. Okay, I'll be giving you five minutes to finalize, correct, and recheck your quizzes or your quiz that we have last meeting. Your time starts now. Okay, well, you are doing your assignment or the quiz that we have last meeting, recognizing the attendance. We have Brian, Chris Aaron, Piel, Kaiser, Keith, Krija, Sebastian. Again, to those who came in late, we will be doing uh, the checking of your quiz that we did last meeting. If you would like to recheck your answer, especially the question, you may check and click the link that I sent here on the chat box. This is just only five minutes, so you have four minutes left. The last three minutes. Last two minutes, then we will do the checking. If you're done, please type done on the chat box so that I will know if we could have an extra time or not. 
Again, this is just rechecking, finalizing of your quiz. Recognizing the attendance, we have GAV. Okay, Brian is also done. So again, to those who came in late, we will check the quiz that we have last meeting. So make sure that you have prepared, double check and recheck the activities. Kit is also done. Okay, still waiting for the others as well as Sebastian. Yeah, it's finished. Okay, time's up, time's up, time's up. We will do the checking now. So, anyone who would like to write the equation on the chat box because my laptop is um, not functioning well. I don't know if it is the laptop or the Wi-Fi. So anyone who has the copy of the questions, the true or false questions. I have here for that. Okay, for number, for number one, so we have the question. Um, can you see my presentation class? Okay, so this is. So we have number one. The question is in, in 2x minus 5 equals 13, we are going to substitute x equals 4. So is it true that if you are going to substitute 4, the answer is 13? So we have... 2x minus 5 equals 13. Then our x is equals to 4. So, ito muna tayo sa 2x minus 5 muna tayo. Kay Brian muna unahin natin. So, what is your answer here? Alam ko magkaibang numbers niyo sa number 1 at saka number 1 ko dito. So, what is your answer here? Is it true or false? Please type on the chat box. Yell that it false. Same with Brian, same with Kit. Okay, how does it become false? So it looks like this. Um, alam naman natin, when we solve, lahat ng variables na sa left side, while the, all the numbers will be placed on the right side. Okay? So we are going to do that one. So 2x is equals to, or pwedeng ganito, 2x. Kung ayaw nyo na mag-change, mag change ng ganyan tulad ng arrow na, na ginagawang, Transposition, you do the additive inverse. Kung may minus 5 dyan, yan po yun, mag-plus 5 ka dyan para maging 0 siya. So 13, since nag-plus 5 ka dyan, mag-plus 5 ka rin dito. Pwede pong ganyan ang solving. So 13 plus 5, magiging 18. Oops. Mali pala, mali. Substitute pala tayo class, no? So we are going to substitute it with 4. So 2 times 4 minus 5 equals 13. Ganito pala class, I'm sorry. So 2 times 4, that is 8 minus 5 equals 13. 8 minus 5, that is 3. And 3 is not equal to 13. So therefore, 3 is not equal to 13, that is false. The answer here is false. And I would like you to have the complete solution. Kapag meron pong complete solution with false ang answer, 5 points po ang tama. Okay? Kapag mali naman po, you have 2 points for this. Next. So we have the second question. Ready na po? Ready na ba? So in 5, 
4, 3, 2, and 1. Allow me to erase this one. Okay. Next. Number 2. For number 2, my number 2 will be different from your number 2. We have 7x minus 5 equals 16 where x is, is replaced with negative 3. Okay, what is your answer here? Is it true or false? False from PL. It got it false. Prija got it false. Arc Luby got it false also. Okay, so let's reveal the answer. So 7 times negative 3. San galing si negative 3? Dito po, yung i-replace natin or isa substitute. Then minus 5 equals 16. 3 times 7, that's 21. Kaso lang negative siya, ito positive. So magkaibang sign, so therefore negative dyan. Minus 5 equals 16. Take note of this. Negative is utang. So kung may utang ka na 21, may utang ka pa na 5, ilan na utang mo? 26. And utang is negative. So therefore negative ilalagay. And that is not equal to 16. They are not equal. So their answer here is false. So, tama po. False po ang sagot. Again, 5 points with complete solution. 2 points kapag mali or walang solution. Okay? So, please check now number 2. Okay, let's proceed now to the next item, number 3. So, in 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Next. Number three. For number three, we have the given 5x equals 30, where in x equals to 6. What is your answer here for I, our number three question? So true. True, 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 true. Wala pong nag-false. True lahat. From Sebastian, Keisha, Ian Marie, and so on and so forth. So let's reveal. So we have 5. Ang x natin magiging 6. 6 times 5, that's 30, and that is true. So therefore, true ang sagot. Okay, with complete solution, 5 points. Kapag mali po, or walang solution, that's 2 points. Okay, check now. In 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, let's proceed to item number 4. For item number 4, we have 6x minus 10 was 8, where x is replaced by Three. Okay, ang iba po sa inyo, wala pong ganito na items kasi apat lang po ang sasagutan out of five. Tama? So, replace na natin. So, what is your answer here? True or false? Hindi po lahat nakasagot nito dahil po one to four lamang po ang sagutan ninyo. So, true, true, true. True din po. So, let's reveal. Six times three minus ten equals eight. Three times six is eighteen minus ten equals eight. 18 minus 10, that's 8. Is 8 equal to 8? Yes, it's true that 8 is equal to 8. So, 5 points for the complete solution. Next, yung ika number 5, meron pong, ang iba sa inyo nakasagot na number 5, ang iba naman po wala. So, this one, kasi nga po, apat lang po ang sasagutan. So, equals 9, where x is replaced by 4 over 7. Okay. What if lima ang isagutan nyo? So, pili lang kayo ng naka-check doon. Okay? Eh, creepy naman dito sa classroom class. Nalaglag na naman yung notebook. Wala namang electric pan dyan. Ha, hi. Baby girl, huwag ka magparamdam, baby girl. Ako lang ba isa dito, baby girl? Yung multo dito, class, tawag ko sa kanya, baby girl. Okay, yung... Kwento ko na lang. Nung Monday, uh, we have a very uh, takatakot-takot na experience. Apat kami nakakuan dito, naka-experience. That was Monday. Ako, tatlo lang kami dito sa loob ng classroom. Nag-sort kami ng module. Biglang may nag-ayo sa labas. Ayo! Sa labas ng room. Pinuntahan ko. Wala namang tao. Tapos sila din pala. Narinig pa din pala ng mga kasama ko na may nag-ayo. Yun, that was so creepy. Okay, next. So, let's proceed now. Baby girl, wag paramdam ha. So, palitan daw natin ng 4 over 7. So, 7. Ang x nagiging 4 over 7 na siya. Plus 5 
equals 9. So, cancelled, cancelled. Maging 4 na lang siya. 4 plus 5 equals 9. So, 9 is equal to 9. That is true. In this number, we have true as the answer. Okay? So, please check. 5 points po ang tama. 2 points naman po kapag mani. The total score is 20 over 20. Anong quiz number nga ito? Q number? 20 po, sir. 20. This is Q number 20. 20 over 20. Please picture your notebook and your score, type your score at the same time or na-check ka naman siya, andyan na yung score, kasama na siya sa picture. So send it in our page at www.facebook.com slash yumang2021. Okay? So let's proceed now to our lesson this afternoon. Okay, burahin ko na ha. So the lessons that we have in this afternoon is about the inequalities in one variable day number two. Still the same with the lessons that we have last meeting, but we will go now to the inequalities part. Kahapon equations na po yung ginamit natin, so we go now to the inequality part. Recognizing the attendance, we have Trisha. It's okay, Trisha. Don't worry, this is a recorded class. You may check your activity or quiz number 20 later. Okay? So next, let's do the... Okay, hindi na tayo magkaroon ng game number one na categorize kasi applicable lang ito siya sa mga laptop ang gamit. Yung sa mga hindi kasi laptop, hindi siya ma-play. So, let's do this one. Solving linear inequalities in one variable. We are going to graph this one. So, for number one is x less than one. Oops, makita. That's, ito ba? x less than one. Okay, we are going to graph this x less than one. So, Graph natin. Gumamit ng lulel sa paggraph. Okay. So, yan po. Gamitan siya ng lulel or ruler, rather. So, x is less than 1. What do you think are the numbers na mas mababa kay 1? Sige daw. Magbigay ng isa. What are the numbers na mas mababa kay 1? So, may negative 2, may negative 1, may 0. Yes, that's true. Ang 1 ba is mas mababa sa 1? Hindi po. 1 is equal to 1. So, ito yung given, ito yung graph. So, yun yung masagot ninyo. Mga negative numbers, tama, and 0. So, kung 1 ito, okay, tapos 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Okay, by the way, kung mag-graph kayo ha, kung ito yung number line ninyo, Ito yung number line ninyo, 0 is and dito, tapos dito yung positive numbers. Dito naman yung negative numbers. Okay? Yan po pagsulat. Tulad nito, 0, ang 1 is positive dito, ang negative sa kabila. Okay? Okay lang po na hindi magpantay yung numbers. Basta masulat nyo yung na kailangan na numbers. Next. Less than 1. So, focus tayo sa 1. Ito. Nagyan siya ng circle sa taas ng 1. Now, kapag walang underline dito, Di ba merong ganyan, may underline, or equal to na tinatawag? Kapag walang underline, make it hollow or open. Hollow lang siya, wala siyang shade. Then, since ang number na mas mababa sa 1 is papunta dito, so therefore, lagyan dyan ng arrow. Okay? And that is now the answer for the graph of x is less than 1. Please copy next, the graph of greater than 1. For the graph of greater than 1, Okay. What are the numbers that are greater than 1 or more than 1? Please type on the chat box. We have 2. We have 3. Yes. Tama. We have 2. Can, can we include, yes, tama po, 4. Can we include 1? Yes or no? Pwede ba natin isama ang 1? Art Louis, that's correct. No from PL. No from Krisha. Can we include 1? No from Kit. Okay, bakit nga ba No. Hindi po pwede ang no, ay hindi po pwede ang no, hindi po pwede ang 1 dahil nga po, ang sabi po dito, mas malaki kay 1, greater than 1. So therefore, ano bang numbers na mas malaki kay 1? 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, and so on. 4, 5, 6, pwede pang million. Akwa. Okay. So mas malaki kay 1. This is positive 1, this is 2, positive 3, positive 4, positive 5. Okay, next, this is 0. Tama? So, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
focus kayo kay 1. Diyan magkaroon ng bilog. Now, since wala siyang or equal to, wala siyang underline, open yung ating uh, circle. Wala siyang shade. Hindi siya shaded. So therefore, that is the answer. And more than 1 is papunta sa right kasi lahat po ng 5, 6, 7 is more than 1. So therefore, tama yung sagot natin. Next, sabi naman po dito, x should be less than or equal to 1. What is the graph of this? Okay, still the same, less than or equal to 1. So if this is 1, 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, and so on and so forth. Okay, allow me to move the... Nakapi nyo na ba, class? Kopihin nyo ha. Allow me to move this. So ano ba yung mga numbers na less than 1? Focus tayo kay 1. Kaso lang, merong underline. So therefore, ang ating circle is shaded. Okay? Next, move tayo papunta dito na arrow. Okay? That is now the answer for x should be less than or equal to 1. Yes. Next. Please copy class, ha? Um, pwede na ba siyang i-move? Sige, that type done. If you're done, then I will move the whiteboard. Dan, dan, dan. Okay, let's have greater than or equal to 1. For the number 4, we, we will graph x is greater than or equal to 1. Then, again, use your ruler to make it straight. So now all straight. Okay, so next, greater than 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on and so forth. Okay. Focus tayo kay 1. Next, may equal to man siya, so shaded ang ating circle. And arrow is to the right. Bakit to the right? Kasi ano bang mga number na mas malaki kay 1? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay? So please copy then type down if you're done. Yes, that's true, Kit. Sobra pa sa 1 billion. Pwede po. Okay, for your turn, I would like you to do this one. So recognizing the attendance, we have John Burt. For your turn, I would like you to do this one. Greater than 5. X is greater than 5. Sige daw. X is greater than 5. You don't need to write the answer in the chat box kasi alam ko mahihirapan kayo i-graph sa chat box yan. So, dapat pag-college nyo, maka-invento kayo na pwede na mag-drawing sa chat box sa gawan nyo ng paraan. Dapat isa sa inyo maka-discover niyan paano mag-invento pala rather. Magawa ng chat box na pwede mag-drawing. Okay? So, you answer X is greater than 5 for your turn. I'll be giving you 2 minutes. Your time starts now. Far, may drawing si Kwan, no? Sino drawing nito? Si Trisha. <laughs> Tingnan natin kung mag-graph niyo sa chat box, be. Kasi kahapon sa ibang section, nag sila ng paraan, nag-graph nila. Okay, na, okay, one minute, uh, two minutes rather. Uy, may nakagraph. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Galing, galing, galing. Nag-graph niya. Saan niya kayo ginawa yung hollow na pa na yan? Yung open na circle na yan. Okay, please type on the chat box if you have the answer now. And let's reveal if you're correct. Sana all marunong mag-graph.
Okay, can you post your answer if you have the answer? Kung wala po, ito po. Si Eric Louie, nag-rock din siya. <laughs> okay, let's find out if your answer is correct. So we have the given x is greater than 5. In this case, we are going to draw a straight line. Uy, ang straight ng aking line. That is called a straight line. So we have x is greater than 5. So x is greater than 5. So using the ruler, um, let's draw that one. So what are the numbers greater than 5? We have 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. 6, 7, 8. Pwede na mag sa 7 pa lang? Pwede na po. Pwede mag sa 8 na lang? Pwede din po. Okay? So let's focus on 5. Then wala pong underline or equal to na tinatawag. So therefore, open siya or hollow. Then the arrow goes to the right direction. Okay? That's correct. Tama po ang sagot ninyo. Okay, very good class. Next. What if naman, kung example natin, that's good, Trisha, that's good, Kit, and that's good also, Ayan Marie. Ano yan? Bakit may ganyan ang itsura, Ayan Marie? <laughs> but may dalawang pa yan siya. May boobs pa siya. So, more examples. We are going to solve each inequality with this solution. What if ganito? Ang solution, ang given rather, is merong x plus 2 greater than 5. Meron siyang number dito. Hindi siya direct tulad ng x greater than 5 kanina. Pag ganyan naman po ang case, you're going to solve it first. Okay, how to solve that one? Take note, lahat po ng variables nasa left side, while lahat naman ng numbers nasa right side. Okay, or you may do the following, yung additive inverse. Kung ayaw nyo siya i-transfer, pwede kayong mag-additive inverse. So, 2. Anong gagawin mo pa para maging 0 ang 2? Mag-minus 2 ka dyan. So since nag-minus po ka sa kabila, what will be subtracted on the left side will be subtracted also on the right side. So 2 minus 2 magiging 0 na siya. 5 minus 2 magiging 3. And our focus now is x is greater than 3. Then you use your ruler. So what are the numbers greater than 3? We have 4, 5, 6, 7, and so on and so forth. So dito pa lang sa 3, ang focus natin, then move and create an arrow. And that is now the answer for um, x plus 2 greater than 5 or x is greater than 3. If it's copy for example number a uh, letter A, then we will have your turn activity. Okay, type done if you're done. Tapos na po ba? Please type done if you're done. Then we will continue. Si Baymax. Diyan si Baymax. Okay, let's continue. So, we have your turn activity. So, x plus 7 greater than 1. Okay? x plus 7 greater than 1. x plus 7 greater than 1. Your turn. You do the solving, then the graphing. 
Okay, I'll be giving you two minutes. Your time starts now. Okay, last one minute. Okay, what is the value of x here? Please post on the chat box. Yung, yung value lang muna ng x. x is greater than what? What do you think? x is greater than 6. Brian with an kit. Is that 6? Take note, kapag nilipat sa kabila, magiging negative na siya. What do you think? Diba, pag nilipat sa kabila, magiging negative na siya? Double check your answer, Keith and Brian. others please please post your answer if you have it now okay, tingnan nyo ha parang ganito siya class of x plus kung gusto nyo ilipat pwede kayo direct so minus 7 sa kabila tama pero kung ayaw nyo siya ilipat yung additive inverse ng gamitin nyo plus 7 so paano siya going 0 so minus 7 dyan then 1 minus 7 din dito saan galing ang minus 7 additive inverse ang tawag niya so, magiging 0 na yan. Then, 1 minus 7. May pera ka na piso, pero utang mo 7. So, ilan pa yung utang mo? 6. And utang is negative. So, x should be greater than negative 6. Okay? So, yan na yung i-graph ninyo. x greater than negative 6. So, marami pong nakatama sa x greater than negative 6. So, paano yan siya i-graph? Okay, negative 6. Negative 6. Negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, and 0. So, ano yung mga number na mas malaki kay? Negative 6. That is, pababa siya. Papunta siya ng 0. Take note, kapag merong negative na number, tapos 0, tapos positive dyan, papunta talagi sa positive ang mas malaki. Nakuha. Tulad dito, negative 6. Saan ang mas malaki? Alangan, patras tayo. So, hindi po. Papunta talaga siya sa positive kasi mas malaki man. So therefore, saan papuntang arrow? To the right. Okay, that is now the answer. And open siya dahil wala po siyang greater than or equal to. Very good. Alam niyo na po. So, saan kaya hindi na pang kuha ni Arclowy yung mga kuha na yan ay image niya. Kilala ko yan. Parang si Piccolo, Piccolo yan siya. Piccolo, Piccolo, Piccolo. From Dragon Ball Z. So, that is the activity for letter A. Next, let's proceed to letter B. For letter B, we have negative 8 greater than or equal to x minus 5. In this case, x is not placed properly on the left side. Tama? Dapat itong x nandito siya sa left. Itong number na lang dapat nasa right. Ganito ang mangyayari. So from x, pag nilipat dito sa kabila, magiging negative x na siya. And next, 
Itong 8 from ilipat dito sa kabila, from negative 8, maging positive 8 na siya. Then minus 5. So negative x greater than or equal to 8 minus 5, that's may pambayad ka na 8 pero may utang ka na 5. So ilan na lang? Ilan na yung suklin mo? That is 3. And negative 1 dito. And negative 1, ay negative is, negative x has invisible 1 on the other side. So invisible negative 1, invisible negative 1. Okay, buburahin na natin ang negative, negative x. Now, take note, since negative ang gidivide natin, mag-change agad ang symbol. From greater than, magiging less than na siya. And 3 divided by 1, that is 3. Kaso lang, negative ito, positive dyan. Magkaiba sila ng sign, so therefore, negative ang sagot. x is less than or equal to negative 3. Yan na yung igagraph ninyo. Okay? Make some arrow. So, negative 3, less than kay negative 3. Negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6. Okay? Shaded siya kasi may underline na equal to. Okay, that is now the answer. Okay, paano po, paano po na mas malaki ang negative 4, negative 5, negative 6? Tinan nyo, less than ang sinabi dito. Since less than siya, ibig sabihin kung saan, saan nakapoint yung, yung arrow, tinan nyo, Yung symbol rather, doon din papunta ang inyong arrow dito sa drawing or sa graph. Yan yung tandaan ninyo ha. Kung saan nakapoint ang arrow dito, sa pat to the left, siya to the left din yung drawing nyo dito. Is that clear? That is now the answer. So, yun yung po yung guide. So, let's have now our game number two or the spin the wheel. In this spin the wheel, you are just going to select only four questions out of um, eight questions. You are going to solve that one. Kung hindi na kailangan isolve, i-graph diretso. Okay, four questions lamang po. Five points ang correct. Tapos two points ang mali. So I'll be sending the link for a while. Just give me 30 seconds. Okay, quiz number 21. So you are given 20 minutes. Your time starts now. Type done lang po sa chat box kung tapos na po. If there is a problem, please don't hesitate to post on the chat box. Nagka-brown out na po kila Chris Aaron so he could not participate in our class. Just me po, sir. Ilang nga po ang uh, ano po, sir? Sagutan lahat. Apat lang po.
Yes po, Brian, mag pa po.
Yes po, Keith, pwede na po. Okay, please type done if you're done. Are you all done, class? Just type done if you're done, then we will do the checking. So, Brian, Keith, Ian Marie is done. Tatlo pa lang po, apat, Sebastian. He's still waiting for the others. Gab, Yel, Keith. Seven na po.
Okay, still waiting for the seven students. Seven na pong natatapos. So maybe di na kaya tayo makaabot sa checking because it's two already, 2.54 already. So ganito na lang class. We will, I, I will be the one who will check na lang yan po sa activity niyo. So to those who are not, fish, not yet finished, you may do and finish that one. Just submit it in our Facebook page at www.facebook.com slash humang2021. Don't forget to name it as quiz number 21. Please turn on your cameras for the checking of attendance. For the rest of the five minutes, take a rest. Press your eyes so that you could have participate in the other classes. Okay, turn your cameras now in five, four, three, two, and one. Smile. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you and God bless. Thank you, sir.